You spy that column of smoke? God damn it! Make haste! As the Clayton estate appeared from behind a tree line, the Queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? Not take a gander, lads. The Queen herself is deigned to come and see us. See you, then kill you. The strays of Sparla? Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Aye, tis I they dub so. And in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariahs, Thane of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Colourful titles all, yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! I beg your pardon and cry foul! I am anything but common! You needn't get excited, Caldwell. Where is Lord Clayton? Sadly, my lord's no longer with us. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality. A sacred right, after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. I've heard enough. Two arms! Attack! What say we throw this queen a ball? Let's catch them all! The chase is on! Abolista, your command. I smell a leaf. <laughs> Stand back! <coughs> this is some alchemical concoction! My spirit's willing and how, but... Damn boots are killing me. You mad? Don't shake that. Time I taught you some respect. I'm a one, sir. Hmm. No time for that. Mm. Oh. 
Again and again and again. To reap, a time to sow, a time to die. What do you want of me? Well played. I can't say the same for you, I fear. You'd have done better to die in battle. Bound for Lyria now, where the hangman will have his way with you. Splendid! I've ever wished to see the capital. Quite certain of yourself, you seem. Many a four you have braided nooses for me, Your Grace. Yet, as you see, my neck's straight as a pike. My threats are never hollow. And if it's an escape you weigh, well, we've yet to see any man abscond from the dungeons of Lyria Castle. I'd hope so. For to be known as second just wouldn't be worth the trouble. Ugh. Take him away. As soldiers placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Your Majesty, Graces, Nilfgaards cross the Yoruga. Black-clad hordes, villages burn, folk lie murdered. Nilfgaard, gods help us. They march for Dravagrad, Prince Willem. He can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Help us. You must. Dravagrad. Blast it all. Listen close, soldier. You're to take a fresh mount, ride hard back to your commander, and say the Queen comes to repel the foe. Your Grace, begging your pardon. I'm a force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first. Elsewise, 
Reynard, I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravagrad. We must ride for the town at once. As her men prepared to march, Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall win. Reynard, prepare to ride! First bandits, now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Hmm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Suddenly, Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. To the Queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilfgaardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride and the scent of musk. I am Traern Vardifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present your esteemed grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. The envoy cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Epdahi, 
demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. As the final threat echoed in Meave's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. I thank you, sir. A sophisticated missive that proves beyond a doubt Nilfgaard's superiority over the culturally backward north, answered the Queen in a voice frostier than Mahakam's snow-capped peaks. To delay this matter I see no reason, so I give you my response to His Excellency. Go ahead and try, Horson. That said, Meave slapped her mount with her reins and galloped away, leaving the Nilfgaardians in dust. Envoy and escort turned to go whence they came, the Lyrians sending them off with a din of whistles and curses. <laughs>